Welcome everybody to Sison. It's a bus stop here on the way to Baguio. We took the Express Victory Liner bus this time. We did not stop here last time. I decided to get out, get a Coke. Isaac's still on the bus. But we are an hour away from Baguio and things are gonna get started soon. Gonna go to the most famous restaurant in possibly the whole city. Well, this is our first stop. We have the beautiful part of the drive coming up next, right into these mountains. And then we're in the beautiful, fantastic city of Baguio. Which we said before is probably the, our favorite city that we've been to in the entire country. So let's go, let's eat, and let's explore Baguio. Thank you. All right, uh, I think I got some bikul, some sort of rice cake thing. Uh, I mean, we've tried it before. Just stopping out here. I'm stretching my legs a bit walking out here. Let's try it. It's super brick-like. It looks like a straight up brick. It kind of looks like banana bread in a way as well. Oh, it's crunchy. Is this supposed to be crunchy? It's so dense. It feels like you're biting into like a loaf of something. But then it's so glutinous and so spongy that you have to remember that it's made of rice and it's delicious. It's sweet, subtly sweet, and something you could eat a lot of, I think. So, pickle from this bus station in Sison, delicious. Welcome back to Baguio, guys. We're back in our favorite city in the Philippines. We're getting some food right now, and let's hope it tastes good. <laughs> that was, because it's good taste. <laughs> <laughs> this is a place we skipped last time we were here. Uh, it was too busy. We don't think any of these people are in line, but we're gonna find out. It was a long drive and we're absolutely starving. Let's get a feast. My butt hurts. That's not good. Uh, let's eat. Are you guys in line for? No? Is that up there? Uh, I, I watched your video really? in uh, Santa Rosa, Laguna. Oh yeah? In Santa Kingdom. Really? Awesome, thank you. <laughs> Last time we saw this place, the line was literally to the end. Yeah, to the end of the waiting area. I guess we went at the prime time, 12 o'clock. Right now it's about two something, and uh, it's not that bad. We literally just got here, off the, fresh off the bus. So hungry. I'm so hungry. I was hungry when we left. Let's get some good taste. I mean, let's hope it tastes good. I hope so. <laughs> do, you think, do you think the joke was funnier the second time around? <laughs> yes, yes. We're up next. They have like a takeout machine right there. That's interesting. Yeah, for like an actual non-fast food restaurant. Yeah. Oh, and they have a little catmobile robot thing. Are we going to be served by a robot? Yeah, we in Japan. Modern Philippines? We got served by a robot in Japan. That place was really weird because you like didn't interact with anybody. You didn't even talk to the employees at all. It's everyone you paid for some reason. Yeah. Which is usually automated in the US. I'm excited. This place seems like it's all about uh, the butter chicken is a big thing here, and then it, there's just tons and tons and tons of desserts. They're advertising all the different ones. Beach mango tapioca. We'll go pun on that, right? So if you thought we got a feast at places like Kuya J, wait until now, because this place is way too good. I am excited. And not just because I'm starving. I mean, let's hope it tastes good. We didn't even laugh the third time. That's how you know it's funny. It's definitely going to happen at least seven more times in this video. Be ready. Good taste. Good taste. Oh, they have pork steak. All right, let's eat some good. Let's get some good taste in it. I hope it tastes pretty good. All right, we're here sitting down. This menu is massive. It's massive. They got a lot of pastries, a lot of cakes, a lot of uh, meals. They also have a lot of items that taste good. Good taste, dude. 
What was that, number five, number six? I don't even know what We're point. getting to ten. We're gonna order for that kind of stuff. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Hopefully you enjoy. The desserts came first. And uh, it's interesting. Well, I guess if you count that as dessert. You got some Xiao Mai there too. We'll start with the Xiao Mai. Why not? Let's finger into this. I don't even know how we attack this. Are these garlic boys on top? It, it looks on like, top? It looks like garlic boys. Get oh. all the soy sauce we can get and we're one dink in this, I guess. Oh gosh. Hopefully they're not hot. Hopefully not. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Those are really good. You can say they have good taste. Dude, it tastes good. I like the garlic on top. When you bite into it, the soy sauce hits your tongue first, because that's on the bottom. And then the oh, garlic aroma fills your mouth, because that's on top. Is it spicy a bit? Mm-hmm. A little bit. It's in there. It's tingling in the back of the tongue. We said we're going to start rating food. For, on a shaomai scale, that might be the best shaomai I've had. I would agree. I'm going to give that like a 8.5. 8. 8. I give it an 8. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. I would eat those. They're kind of like weird shaped dumpies. And they're very soft. Yes. And now we'll go on to... Um, what the heck was this called? Uh, carrot cream cheesecake. Look at the size of this thing. My gosh. Please put that garlic on your bite. All right. Ooh. This is so delicious. Oh, it's dense. All right. Cream cheesecake. The Ooh. bottom part's kind of hard. Yeah. It's like cinnamony a bit. Yeah. I like this. The top is really nice. The bottom could use some improvement. And they even have like the, the nuts on top to yeah. add a little flair peanuts on top. I'd say. But the bottom kind of sucks. Yeah, it's not It's not soft enough. It's like almost crunchy in the, around the corners. It's definitely been sitting out but for it, a bit. It, the flavor on the bottom is good. Yeah, it is. It's a cinnamony. It's, it's a good taste on the bottom. Chunky. I would say it's a good taste. The top is a better taste, but the bottom is also a good taste. We got oh, more. No. Oh, we got more food coming. Here we go. This is Jimothy. Jimothy, our robot here. Hello. This is us. Please um, spin, sir. Okay. Well, this is all our food. Holy nuts. We got a lot. Um, here's my buttered chicken. Look at that. Oh, hey. that's a massive portion of buttered chicken. We got some uh, lechon koali. Oh man, we might have went wow, over. Wow, you got lechon koali too. Yeah, I got lechon koali as well. That's a massive salad. This is, may have, we may have went overboard with this. The prices were just so dang cheap. Last time we went, Bog, went to Baguio, the prices were also cheap and we went overboard. You got some I got some lumpia for mine too as I did, well. Did you realize it came with a salad? No, and, uh, I, guess, I guess I got okay. both now too. And then finally I got some beef and broccoli. Wow, you're the only one that didn't get a salad, sir. Come on, man. All right, so let's dig into some of this stuff. We may have underestimated uh, the amount of food that comes this. We can never do that. Somebody warned us about that too, but I'm just so dang hungry. Crack it. Let's start with the things we've had before, like this lechon koale. I'll take a little nibble of this. Oh, oh yeah. I feel like it's gonna sling. Oh, oh it there sling. we go. Lechon koale. We actually just had this recently in a video. There we go. I like that a lot. That is better than the Laza one. It's not too crunchy, but it's got the nice crunch on the outside. The inside isn't too chewy. It's insanely juicy. Look how juicy that is. And that's pretty dang tender too. Wow, that is better than the other one. That is tasty as nuts. And that, but that's dry, no sauce on there either. No, it didn't come with mango Wow, that's incredibly good. 8.2. Whatever I gave the last one, I don't remember. That's true. I don't remember what I gave it either. Our rating scale is going to be very skewed. I'm going to give that two more, point two more. That's really good. I'm impressed by that. All right. I guess I'll grab this other half. This looks very crispy there's and very orange. Oh, there's some sauce. Here. It's like a red sauce. Oh. Sweet sour, maybe. Must be. All, All right. right. Lumpia. Lumpia. It looks very crispy. Well, let's ding that mother. Mmm. The sauce, delicious. Lumpia. It's pretty good. Solid. It's not the best lumpia I've had. No. But it's good. The outside's crispy. It's very meaty. Yeah. And that's what, it comes through more than the sauce almost. Yeah. But it's good. It's good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Lumpia is very good food in general. I'd give that a 7.9. I'll give it a 7.8. Pretty good. But not my favorite lumpia. You gotta get a little bit of broccoli and a little bit of beef. Uh, I just want like a tiny piece. I use a tiny one right here. All right, beef, beef or broccoli, boy. How is this going to be? Wow. That sauce is delicious. It really is. The flavor is amazing. 
The one downside I would have is the beef is kind of like a weird texture. Yeah, it is a bit weird. It's it's definitely a, that's always the scary thing with beef is it can be incredibly chewy. Yeah. And, but uh, the flavor is amazing. The broccoli is also perfectly cooked. Like perfectly cooked. It's juicy still or watery still, but also you can crunch right through that mother. Easy. That's really good. Hopefully the beef isn't too chewy throughout. I'm gonna give that one a I give it an 8.2. I give it an 8.22. Two two? Uh, a two two? Two two. Yeah. <laughs> That's good taste right there. <laughs> Have we reached the double digits for that joke? Uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. Now look at this for Acker. I've gotten buttered chicken at Classic Savory. Ah. And it was okay, it was pretty solid. This looks completely different though. It looks like a- almost, Sweet and sour. It does, it's like a redder sweet and sour. A lot redder. And there's some sort of ranch that got dripped on it over here. Huh? Or the part of the egg. Oh yeah, it's a part of the egg. <laughs> Good thing it was not ranch. I'm surprised it came with an egg. This is a weird one with an egg, a sauced chicken. Yeah, usually it's the breakfast meals that come with egg. Yeah. Butter chicken is a breakfast? Oh. Oh, I got some salad dressing on there. This is a hard one to uh, share. Oy. Okay. Need to get enough of this sauce so I know what it tastes like. Butter chicken, which I don't know how it's butter because it's so dang red. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Is that the taste you were expecting? Not at all. Wow. It's not really a sweet and sour sauce. It's not even close. I don't even know how to describe it. It is sweet. It's definitely sweet. It's buttery. It's like really buttery. It is buttery. buttery. It's an interesting blend of sweet and buttery. And it's delicious. It's like really good. Wow. That, that tastes good. That's some good taste. That is some dang good taste. This is what everyone recommended us to get is the butter chicken and that is superb. I'll it give would... that a good on the scale. Of taste? Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that would be so much better though if it was boneless. <laughs> yes, the bones, the dang bones. Imagine if you could just pop them with your rice, just pop them in there. It's going to take me like 20 minutes to eat this thing and I already eat slow. And you have a salad. And I have an egg. Egg test. That's what. That's one way to get the egg down. Egg scale? It's an egg. I give it like a 6.2. Did we ever give this a number? Nope. Um, I got too eager to eat my egg. The taste is amazing. I will give it a 8.6. I'm going 8.7. I'm not giving it a 6. I mean, an 8.6. I mean, I like it. It's good. Wow, you're just going to one up me? You got to one up. You came back on the Laza video? It's coming back. Now you got to try your salad. Oh, yeah, salad. What the heck is that? I don't know. It's really like thick sauce. And then it's got carrots and other things. It's warm and very wet. Is it a good wet or a unfortunate wet? It's a solid wet. Okay. It's a solid. You almost, it Did almost, I get you? No. Good thing. Luckily not. It's a solid solid. It's so wet it almost slipped out of the mouth. I give, yes. It's, it's just juicing around in there. 6.9. Nice. We got two more desserts to try, but we'll try those at the end. True, we can do that. It's time to eat. That was a lot of beef and broccoli. Oh my gosh. A lot of buttered chicken. How is it? It tastes really good. The rice quality, we never rated the rice, but honestly, on a rice scale, it's probably like a three or a four. It's not great. It's disappointing rice. It's like bordering fast food rice. Yeah, level. it's not as bad as the KFC rice, but it's getting there. Did you just disrespect KFC rice? The cuffs are. I'm disrespecting the cuffs are. The colonel would be disappointed. I'm gonna try some of the buco salad here. Buco pandan salad, I guess it's all. I don't know what the difference between that and uh, normal buco pandan is. I guess it's a little more like, it's kind of like the fruit salad that our grandma makes, but it's pink and not buco, it's strawberry. Shout out grandma if you're watching this grandma. video. Yummy. It's a really like whipped creamy texture. And uh, that is just the flavor of buco pandan with buco chunks, tapioca. That's good. It's good? Taste. <laughs> what the heck is that? Corn boy. It looks a little uh, more depressing than Gary's version. Yeah, it was like frozen when it first came out. It's been sitting here the entire meal and it's still very, very frozen. Does it taste like maize or cone helio? Maize. Ah. It's like corn. Very corny. Uh, does corn go good with milk and ice in your book? 
Uh, it doesn't go bad with it, but it doesn't go good with it either. It doesn't go as good as candies and ube and buko. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's kind of like one of those things where it's just like, it's okay together, but I would just prefer to have a side of corn and then some like ice cream. And I'm assuming this isn't a particularly good version of it either. It doesn't look great. What do you mean? This floppy frosted flake? Yeah, I think Gary, uh, Gary beat the old good taste at that one. I think so. Thank you, Gary. Very good taste. That was good taste. We're back in the Baguio weather. We just, as we left the restaurant, it was like, oh, Baguio weather. We've never uh, been in Baguio past like four o'clock though. So we've never been here at night. We just know that super cold morning temperature. True, <laughs> like 5 a.m. It was cold, we could see our breath. And then by the time we were done with that hike, we were good, good to go. Sweaty even. Good taste was really good. You could say it had some good taste. Wait, it tastes good? Yeah, it tasted good. Oh gosh, those jeepneys. They got a lot of quite a few. I don't remember there being this many jeepneys in Baguio last time, but I guess there is. It's not as busy as when we were here last time, I don't think either. No. Wow, I almost just fell off that. <laughs> the sidewalks have been a little risky here. It was a great restaurant. It was insanely cheap. It only ended up costing, for all that food, $1,065. <laughs> It was so much food. I feel sick. I ate so much. I mean, yeah. So now we're going to take a stroll through Burnham Park here and head to our hotel, check in, and then we're going to go to the place that we didn't check out last time. The uh, Mines Field View or whatever the heck it's called. Mines View Observation Deck. Yeah. Is this the night market? It seems like it probably is. And it's not open yet, so they have a bunch of guards? Yeah. It's very Christmassy themed. It so. is. That's actually why we're here to go to the famous Baguio Christmas Market, and uh, we'll be doing that later tonight. So that'll be fun. This will be a nice Baguio series for you guys. I know, we're finally back in the Philippines after Indonesia, hitting you with these epic Christmas videos and some Baguio. I bet you didn't expect that. Some Baguio. Whoa. Oh man, there's actually a lot of stalls and stuff in here. How's it going, guys? The hotel is a long and treacherous journey, and it continues up these steps. All right, speed run time. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I'll record from down here. He's got a little baby. Hey guys, I'm tired now. I hope you regret that decision. I do. But it was all worth it, because now we made it. Oh yeah. Wow, epic view. Oh, that's cool. We're at the church. Epic. Thank you, Baguio. Very yeah, epic. What happened in the church? Hello? Hello? Do you want to see my hotel? Yeah. Show me. One bed. Wow. And wow. if you wanted to watch TV, very conveniently placed right next to the TV for great next precision. You can burn your eyes out right in front of your face. And if one bed wasn't enough, try Two beds. Two beds? This one, you can just watch yourself when you sleep. And it has a library. And, and a We can play crossword. Crack and uh, Scrabble. Scrabble. <laughs> if two beds weren't enough, try a couch bed. Whoa. It has a table. But if three beds wasn't enough. What? Whoa. Wait. Double bunker Whoa. bed. Another bed! What? I'm taking that one. I call that one. No. Dibs on that no, one. That one's mine. No. I dibs it first. Fine. Jinx, you owe me a soda. Fine, fine. You owe me a soda. Fine. If you want to buy me a soda. Yeah, it's uh, stocked with drinks and uh, this. It doesn't say anything about price, but it also doesn't say that it's free. There's only one way to find out if it's free, am I right? Drink it all. Chug time. Let's go, chug, 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 chug. Are you playing Fortnite? 
Are you glad Fortnite's back? That's all I gotta say. <laughs> microwave? This is the same microwave we had before? I had before? I don't remember. It's a fully stocked kitchen, actually. Look at all that. Wow. So this could, this tiny little room could fit eight people if they wanted to. That's crazy. Uh, bathroom? But it has one bathroom for eight people. <laughs> hey, they load it with towels. Uh, there's seven there's eight things of toothpaste oh my gosh there's literally <coughs> for eight people what the frack uh oh oh it's just a fly don't worry it's just uh, a fly it's just a fly fly man that's a very small shower man why why hey but you know what uh -huh. i think it might pass the isaac height oh uh, you mean the one that you doesn't pass in your own condo yeah this one's got a solid, like, I think some basketball players could fit in there. Dang. Ah, uh, now my hair is wet. Yeah, it dripped a little bit. Why has it got a drip? <laughs> drip too hard. Oh, bah, 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 bah. Whoa, are you wearing your epic North Yard? <laughs> Didn't sponsor this video. They no. sponsored our Instagram post. Hey, but if North Yard, if North Yard, if you're watching, I'm wearing them right now. Sure. We're, we're good people. Make us affiliates. <laughs> yeah, so this place was one of the cheapest places I could find in Baguio. And uh, honestly, for an entire apartment, it was only a few hundred pesos more than some of the hotel rooms that um, some of them looked very old and a little like sus. Sus. And then there was another one we were going to get for a cheaper price that was uh, tiny. It was like literally the size of this room plus a bathroom. And uh, then I found this one. This one's a little bit better than that. Dang, look at that view. Bagao is a cool place. Look at that, the city of pines. Unfortunately, the uh, bus took a little longer than advertised because there was a random 30 minute break in there. And then, I mean, we spent a lot of time at good taste. And also uh, getting out of Manila sucked. It did suck. Now it's a little later than we expected for the day. I thought we'd have like two more hours on the day. So the sun's probably gonna set in like an hour. Which isn't good. No, not good at all. For our uh, plan, but you know, it's the Philippines. You can never plan more than a few hours in advance. No, you <laughs> cannot. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what we end up doing for the rest of the day here. And uh, this is our hotel here in Baguio. Hopefully you enjoyed our tasting of good taste. What are you doing there, pal? Oh, what is that? Is that a divider to block this bed? That definitely isn't large enough. And you can see right through it. Now that's private, am I right? Heck yeah, you can watch a movie through this thing. Now that is epic. Ho oh, ho ho, frackers! Today I'm going to be the Santa Claus of the day. Um, I just really wanted to spread the Christmas cheer and all this stuff. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! I stole Santa's hat and Santa's beard. <sighs> All right, let's do. No, duck. What are you? You no. What are you doing? You. Ah! Duck. Where's my hat? Duck, you need to get out of here. You need to get out of here quick. Where's my? You mother! No! 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 I'm naked. I'm naked. No. Oh. oh, so much better. I didn't see anything, boss. I didn't see anything. Duck, what were you thinking? I needed to choose somebody, and now I found my person. What are you gonna do to him? It's not the right day yet. Ho, 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 everybody! Welcome to another Christmas video! We're doing a giveaway today. We're giving away 200 pesos to two people. Wow. And then if you comment and you want to be entered in this video's giveaway, it'll be the same thing, 200 pesos for two people. Ho, ho, ho! Who's winning today? Let's find out. Who do we have in the biscuit tree? Who do we have in the biscuit tree? Thank you everyone who commented on the market video. Make sure you leave your favorite comments down below. And some people seem to think that uh, we pick comments. We do not. We randomly pick them. That's why we have this generator thing. Unfortunately, we forget to film it sometimes, the random generator. And now, here we go. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Aldrin Pagunuron8688. At six minutes, that yellow thing is Lebong. It is a bamboo root. You can pickle it or use it as a weapon, I'm guessing. A vegetable. Thank you for telling us murder advice. 
You have won 200 pesos. Thank Con you very much. Congrats. I will reply to your comment and figure it out. Well, I am Santa Claus. I will bring it to you in a sack. Oh, that's much easier. A virtual sack. Next, who's gonna be our lucky winner number two? Hello, rabbits. Trying to milk fruit also before and a little disappointed. Rare to find a time zone branch that doesn't have a lot of people. <laughs> the milk fruit. I didn't get to try it, but Tyler's review uh, at the end of the video made it seem uh, very epic, so. <laughs> it was just milk and fruit. All I know is now that I can do this, I feel like I'll be much wiser. I like how it's coming to a point. <sighs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to come back tomorrow for the next video. Yeah, and I said tomorrow because we're having a video tomorrow. Hopefully, if we can get it uploaded because our Wi-Fi is off. Holy key for EQ. See you later. Bye. Ooh, I got hair in my tongue.